Ainur Tursambayeva with guests of the studio cooks dishes of Oriental cuisine. Kazakh life, Tagam. Hello, friends. With you, Tagam program. As usual, we pay attention to the dishes of Eastern people. Today's cue has reached to our favorite Orama. It will be cooked by the well-known singer of folk music, Kazakh beauty, Ardak Balazhanova. Ardak, welcome to the studio. Good afternoon, dear viewers. When I learned that Orama will be cooked by Ardak Balazhanova, I was very excited, because singers of folk music who come to us cook a dish and sing a song. First, let me put on you an apron. Ardak Balazhanova, folk singer, honored worker of Republic of Kazakhstan. Favorite dish, manti. Favorite drink, water. Favorite color, black. Favorite writer, Mukhtar Awezov. Favorite song, Karaturgay. Ardak, hot stove and cauldron of Tagam program are yours. What kind of food are you going to cook? And what products will we need? While you're explaining, I'm going to give you gloves. We're going to cook the food that I know since I was a little girl. My mom used to cook it for us, and she still does. We were born in the Kazakh village at the Foot Mountain in Uyghur district, Almaty region. We usually had meat dishes and foods of the Uyghur people. My mom called Orama Manpar. And as far as we know, Manpar is a soup with a noodle. So later we decided to change the name. I'm a daughter-in-law for the family of the west of Kazakhstan. They didn't know about Orama. Now my sisters-in-law live in Natarao and cook Orama when we come from Nur Sultan, and it became our favorite meal. Do they always cook that dish? Yes, they do. So they learn to cook Orama from you, do they? Yes, they do. My kids and the children of my sisters-in-law love to eat it. It seems like a Kazakh dish because it consists of meat and dough. We like all dishes with meat, so let's get started. First, we wash the beef. It's possible to do orama from horse meat also. It can be made from fresh meat, adding cabbage, potatoes and onions. I often try to add everything to get more vitamins out of vegetables. I'll turn on the stove. You can heat the cauldron. It's good that you chop the meat and cut it into thin pieces. What about the potatoes and other vegetables? Do we need only a cauldron or do we need a pan also? In order to melt this butter, we will need a frying pan. Then we need to heat the pan also. We could do it later. Okay. When our dough will be ready, we will heat the pan. How often does Ardak Balazhanova cook at home? Actually, I cook food at home myself. You don't have a cook? No, we don't have one. Now you are participating in all the concerts. If I'm not mistaken, you are a singer in the Presidential Orchestra at the moment. I worked at the Presidential Orchestra until today, since I have a military position. I have already retired, even if I have not reached retirement age. Really? Yes, my friends, Clara Tolinbaeva and Dosamjan Danatarov, also retired from the orchestra. Which means now I'm standing here with a pensioner. You are standing with a pensioner who is not old enough. We often heard that military men would retire early, but it's interesting that the singers also retire early. 
In the early 2000s, we moved to this military service in that orchestra. Since then, I have grown up to the rank of major. Now I can call you a major, right? Yes, of course. Put the meat in the cauldron and then put this cabbage and carrot together. But we add a little oil later. First we add cabbage. It will give its own juices too. When the water has evaporated, add the onions and some oil. Maybe you will continue cooking the meat. And I'll cut carrots. Okay. Because I don't know how to cook without oil. I used to use a lot of oil. So put the meat like this and pour a little water. Do we need to finely chop carrots and cabbage? Cabbage should be crushed and put to the meat. I think this amount of water will be enough. Let me give you the spoon to mix. You stir with a slotted spoon and cover the cauldron with a lid. Do we put only meat? Do not we put carrots yet? It's best to put them together because rolling out the dough takes a lot of time, so send all the ingredients to the cauldron, and while it's cooking we will have time to roll out the dough. Is it okay if I start kneading the dough? Of course you may start. So I put the carrots, right? We didn't add oil. We washed the meat, and if I'm not mistaken, we put this water in the pot. No, I poured the water out and then added some water back in. Salt can be added later. No, salt can be added now. Now put the cabbage on top of the meat. Let me add a little salt. We need water to knead the dough. I guess I didn't add enough salt. You can add it by your taste. Do we finally chop the cabbage? Yes. Unlike pop singers, folk music performers are more likely to say we sing while cooking. How true is this? It's true. On the weekends, when I clean the house, I get inspired and start singing. Especially when I wash the floors. This is the first time I've heard this. Singing while cleaning the house is a sport and a song rehearsal at the same time. I love to sing when I'm in the kitchen. Because there you're alone with yourself. You think only about cooking and you are doing what you love. And my favorite thing is to sing. Therefore, in the kitchen, inspiration overtakes me. Often I like to sing folk songs. Sing us a song. Pretend you are in your own kitchen. Our viewers and I would have enjoyed your singing. When I cook, I remember my childhood, when we used to run around with our mom. There is a beautiful song that I often sing when I miss my village. I'll sing it. The melody of the song is mine. Ardak, you are not only a singer, but also a composer. The lyrics were written by Yerki Bulan Kainazarov. I had one song dedicated to my native country. It's similar to Shetusu folk songs. When I asked him to write the lyrics, he wrote it.
Алатаудан баурая, жасал жайлава, брыгур месем хумарам, басалу майда ушеркнай, кунелем саганул тай. Жан Саумалы балдай, самалы кандай еген жайлау, Жеті суымдай жер лайдай. Деп кете береді. Перфект. There also can be conscious and frivolous songs. This is a wonderful piece of music which combines very well the text and the melody of the song. I have friends who work in this orchestra and they say that the president likes to listen to Ardak Balazhanova. In general, what is our Yelbasi's favorite song? Yelbasi often likes to listen to folk songs. One of his favorite songs is Duldulem. He often sings it. He knows a lot of such songs. And he has a wonderful ability to use lyrics in his songs without mixing styles with each other. And I don't know how did he remember all of them. We often travel around the country, and I hear a lot of people saying, I wanted to be a singer, but I didn't have any contacts, or I wanted to be a singer, but I didn't have money. In general, can anyone become a singer with money or by having a contacts? I think real talent will still make its way. And what has been achieved only through money and connections will not live long. It seems that the real art comes from people who have seen the real Kazakh education, from their grandparents. Today, city children are very interested in Kazakh art. The indicator is that recently, at one of the concerts I saw on the stage, little girls in Aitis, and I was surprised. When city kids are interested in it, I think it's a credit to our folk singers and the parents of those kids. People say the diamond sword does not lie in the scabbard. I like one of your beautiful expressions, we must learn to dream. You've noticed the older we get, the less we dream. For example, 70% of these dreams came true, thank God. But compared to our childhood, our dreams have diminished markedly. So at any age, it's necessary to dream. It's also important to be loyal to your dreams. We need endurance and patience. Kazakhs say, sing like you're giving your entire soul. We used to sing songs when we were kids, even when I was sweeping. 
Sometimes when parents already have a headache, they said, enough is enough. Despite this, I still sang songs. In the program Taram, we prepare the most popular dishes of Eastern people. You have noticed that Ardak sliced tomatoes and took off the peel. Is it because the peel does not boil? Yes. It will not boil and cause discomfort. It can get stuck in the throat. So she removed the peel from the tomato. We chopped carrots, meat, cabbage and didn't fry anything in oil. When will we put the onion? Let the water evaporate a little and then you can add the onion. I love this dish since childhood. I always saw my mom cooking it, but I didn't know how to roll out the dough. After I entered the conservatory, I invited all my friends to try delicious oroma. My mother rolled out the dough in circles and buttered it. I never participated in the process of cooking orama, so I didn't know that orama should be put separately into the cauldron. I took and put everything together because of this. The middle of the dough was raw. Despite this, my friends ate everything with pleasure. The most interesting time, studying at the university. Here's a sweet pepper. We call this laza. If I'm not mistaken, the word laza is a Danganian word. I don't know, I used that word since my childhood. This is what we call it, laza. May we add some? Let's add some. I do not use a lot of laza and one half can be added to taste. But it's necessary to finely chop it, like we did with the tomato. The pill does not boil, right? Yes, and then it floats in the soup. And what secrets have Ardak Balazhanova in making the dough? When I make the dough, I often use cold water. Otherwise, if I take warm water, the dough immediately becomes soft. There are people who make the dough using hot soup. Actually, I heard about it, but I didn't try it myself. Sometimes there are cases when I add two eggs to the dough instead of one. At this time, the dough becomes too tight and it's more difficult to roll out. I think I'll start melting the butter. Yes. Let's add one potato. I'll finally chop it. It would be desirable to finely chop potatoes, sweet peppers, cabbage, carrots and meat. I love potatoes very much. Whatever I cook, I use some potato. So let's put onion and potatoes too. We didn't taste the food of Ardak, but it looks very delicious. It's good if the dough would be thin. How much butter should we melt? Is this enough? You can melt more than half of it. All right. Are we going to smear the butter on this dough? Yes. Put the dough on top of each other. Let it absorb a little. I think it's clear that this dough will be delicious after adding butter. We are grateful to our partner Astana Jihaz, who helped us to shoot this Taram program. 
Today's guest is Ardak Balazhanova. We're cooking oriental dish Orama. The recipe is made up of very simple and affordable products. So stay tuned, write down the recipe. Let's put the dough. Could you give me one by one? This is perhaps the most important thing. This dough will be delicious after adding butter. Ardak, you rolled out the dough so thin, like a sheet of paper. You put all your love in it. In your kitchen, it's impossible not to put your heart into the cooking process. We put the dough and we put the cabbage leaves. How many minutes will the dish be ready? About 25 minutes. But it would be better if the dish will stand for half an hour. Do not forget to turn down the fire, otherwise the bottom may burn. So we will wait until the dish is ready. Dear viewers, our dish is ready. Ardak will now show you how to serve the dish on the table. So let's open the lid and turn off the stove. It's turned off. The smell is incredible. Let's lay out the dish and decorate it. Put the dough on the sides, so it will look good. And it also will be convenient while eating. How well it is cooked, without sticking to each other. In different places they call orama differently. Some say orama, others japa or japasai. The name Japasai seems suitable for this dish. It may seem that this is a different kind of Dumlyama. The main thing is that it's a popular favorite dish of Eastern people. Of course, the methods of cooking may vary. Today's guest, Ardak Balazhanova, showed the way she cooks this dish. She's a singer, honored work of Kazakhstan and major. This is to the middle. My mouth watered, I think the viewers too. During Ramadan, thoughts about food do not give you peace, especially when there are pictures of food on social networks. Yes, that's true. We need to sprinkle with finely chopped jusai. Let's sprinkle jusai. You can put as generously as you can. Our orama is ready. Now we can show it closer. The dish of our duck is ready, and my tea is also ready. As you have noticed, the melodious music of Ardak Balazhanova's song is beautiful. May your fans enjoy your beautiful songs. Dear viewers, always stay with the Taham program. We have a lot of recipes to share with you, and we're always ready to please you. See you soon.